trees are suffering under the current drought and we need rain. Severe Weather Team 2 meteorologist Ebony Dion learned what you should do to keep your trees alive and well. Ebony? Um, Brad, water is especially important when dealing with the heat, but you should also be able to recognize the signs of when your trees aren't getting exactly what they need. Take a look at this young tree. It already appears to be dead or possibly already dying. Trees are looking like it's fall already, then you have a problem. The calendar may say fall, but the trees are not ready for it yet. Trees right now should be storing energy for late fall. Normally, we see our leaves start changing color depending on the weather conditions. Probably mid to late October, they start falling in November, and almost all of our leaves are down in November. Another sign is dry, crispy leaves. Leaves that are dry at the tips, moving back up the green margins toward the branch. Um, that's another big sign of drought stress. In order to lessen the stress, water your trees. We want to water trees long and deep. Brian suggests watering your trees for 10 to 20 minutes per tree once a week. What we're trying to do is we're trying to imitate one to one and a half inches in rainfall per week. To prevent drought stress on our trees. Please don't plant under your trees. Um, Trees have, they don't need the competition. They need all the water they can get, especially when we get into drought areas. You can add mulch to the base of your trees, ideally about three to six inches. Imitate the forest wherever you can. Nice layers of mulch, keep that moisture in there. And here's an example of mulch. It's always best to try to match the mulch to the tree. Pine straw with pine trees, hardwoods with hardwoods. But Brian says it really doesn't matter what you put under your tree as long as you use something to help keep that moisture in to prevent the drying out. Live in Southeast Atlanta, Severe Weather Team 2, meteorologist Ebony Dion.